<laughs> it is the holiday season and it's the time to give. That's right. This is the time when I get lots of gifts from my people. <laughs> For instance, LG Nitro. Captivate Glide. Mm, manageable. Blackberry, so I can BBM all my babes. <laughs> This one, forget it. Ah, yes, Nokia Numa 800. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god, my white assistant. I love that guy. <laughs> Check it out. You are looking at the Galaxy. That's right, Galaxy Nexus. Specially ordered by my white assistant from Samsung. Let's take a closer look. Okay, taking a better look at the Galaxy Nexus that the Colonel was gracious enough to open up for us. We have here, of course, our user guide, USB cables, headphones, Samsung basic, and a travel charger. That's pretty much it. So we'll open up our Nexus here. Take a better look at the device. Of course, this sports a 720p display at 4.52 inches. Um, you do have your, this pretty much is a pins for your dock. Power buttons on the right, volume toggles on the left, front facing camera. The rear camera is five megapixel with uh, LED flash. Should open up the uh, battery bay here. See the battery we have in here. This is a 1850 milliamp battery. Do have your SIM card slot here since it's a 4G device. No micro SD storage at all. So this device is has inbuilt memory overall. I actually didn't close that properly. Let's do this well. Alright, let's power this on and take a good look. Now the main thing about the Galaxy Nexus is the 720p display. Um, also, there are no physical buttons on the device, so everything is on screen. Of course, just have to turn this on at some point, yeah. Everything's on screen, so you do have your on-screen buttons here. The only buttons that you find on the device are your volume rockers and your power button, and that's it. The whole device is uh, fully operated on the screen. Of course, on the bottom, you do have your 3.5 mm jack and your micro USB port. All right. Starting animation. And here we have it. It says Friday, December 31st. Okay. Uh, seven o'clock lock screen. Of course, we do have the different types of locks. And you can see here. There's your dock. Of course, you have applications here. You have your contacts, your uh, message in your web browser, and of course your telephone. Below that, the on-screen buttons for back, your home, and of course any apps. So this is your tasks, there, yeah, if you will. Home screen is very fluid. Now to access your apps, it just goes through. You can go through apps. You can go through widgets, Ta notification bars, all black with blue accents, and at the top it gives you access to your settings. Of course, we have settings for wireless network data usage. More here, of course, is NFC, tethering hotspot, and of course Wi-Fi Direct. Device we have for sound, display, storage. Check out storage here. We have 28, which should be a bit 32 in total. Of course, your battery, battery management, and things like that. Then we have, uh, of course, applications. See what's downloaded, what's running at the time, and all the applications you have on the system. Account sync, location security, screen lock. I can do slide. Face unlock pattern. We'll do a face unlock to see what we can do. 
set that up continue and basically just show your face in there and do the lock we'll set that up later cancel this out backup reset of course dating time and about phone let's see what we have for this is already running android 4.0.2 so this is pretty much up to the latest build we have um, a few other things let's check out the camera the new camera app you can see it's different you tap to focus you do have the blue button there so if we can bring something in here tap to focus there Click on the settings, we have, uh, of course, flash, your white balance, exposure, scene modes, you do have a couple scene modes here. Location, of course, picture size, which is at five megapixels. Bring that down, we can switch to the front facing camera, right there. And then, of course, you can switch from that to record mode. And you also switch over to panoramic shot. It allows you to do that panoramic zoom. So that's pretty much it in the camera app itself. Because the buttons do come up and show up there. When you take a picture, so let's just quickly take a photo here. And we can tap on that and we can share sharing locations already up there of course if you have a Twitter app in, in, installed and things like that that will actually pop up and show you but Google Plus Bluetooth Picasa and text and email so we have that there we can see the apps let's take this away that we have running and we can now close that off slide off pretty quickly and easy so that's a brief tour of the uh, Galaxy Nexus as we have it here. Of course, you have your search bar on top. So far, so good. Looks like it's running very smooth. We'll uh, give you some in-depth analysis, but we'll do a full tour of uh, Android 4.0 for you, as well as other things as we do our review. So, hope you guys enjoy.